have a closer look now at a Grand Forks road rage incident from earlier this week and some alarming numbers. AAA says nearly 80% of all drivers have expressed significant anger, aggression, or road rage while behind the wheel during the past year. Valley News Team's Neil Carlson shows us what's happening out on the roads and what you need to know. According to court documents, this is what happened on Highway 2 near Grand Forks Tuesday afternoon. Keith Rosencrans of Towner was trying to pass Airman Damon Sawyer. Rosencrans says Sawyer was going 68 in a 70 mile per hour zone and wouldn't let him pass. Rosencrans says his passenger laid on the car horn. And when he finally got beside Sawyer's vehicle, Sawyer was holding a pistol pointed at the hood of his car. Sawyer now faces a felony terrorizing charge. Yeah, aggressive driving um, has a tendency to lead to confrontation, so we would certainly encourage the public uh, to drive defensively, um, build in a little extra time for the trip so you're not in a hurry, uh, drive in a courteous manner. This is an extreme case of road rage caught on tape in Australia. But there are many other cases right here in the U.S. where people have wound up being shot and killed. In fact, AAA says 45 to 50 percent of all drivers in the U.S. just during the past year have tailgated another driver, yelled at another driver, or honked their horn in anger. Lieutenant Zimmel says if you find yourself in a situation with an aggressive driver behind you, tailgating and honking the horn, relax, let them go by. He says these type of situations can quickly spin out of control. And we practice and, and preach defensive driving, safe driving. And relax. Relax. It's a lot less stressful to slow down a little bit, calm down, and make it to your way safely. In Grand Forks, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. AAA says that every year, nearly 6 million drivers in the U.S. bump or ram another vehicle on purpose during road rage incidents. A frost.